Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about the risk of a severe weather outbreak across parts of the United States today. This will bring damaging winds, large to very large hail, and perhaps a couple tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with areas in the Midwest and as well as into the Ohio Valley. That is where a low pressure system continues to spin today. This is what brought severe weather to parts of the Midwest and as well as the Ohio Valley and even the Mississippi Valley over the past 48 hours. This is slowly moving off to the east northeast and we're going to end up actually seeing the threat for severe weather today across areas in the northeast United States back even through the mid-Atlantic region and as well as the southeast United States. So very interesting days ahead there. Now overall we're going to be watching for a lot of threats of severe weather. I'll be talking about more on that in just a moment but let's go further to the west in the United States where there is still some storm activity that is now fizzling out back down in the Mississippi Valley. That is what's actually been bringing some damaging winds and even a little bit of large hail earlier this morning. Now that is again weakening. Further to the west, we are starting to see a heat dome dominating in parts of the southern United States back near Texas. Areas in Texas, even southern Oklahoma and Mexico are dealing with the threat for record-breaking high temperatures this week. So it's going to be very hot down there. If you're anywhere in those areas, make sure that you are limiting outdoor time. Now the weather pattern over the next several days will be very interesting. We're going to at least begin with today, though, in the jet stream. We still have our low pressure system that's located back over again, closer to the northeast United States near Ohio right now. And then back down into the southern plains, we have a heat dome. This is where the jet stream basically is lifted just enough to the point where we have a high pressure system just sitting there that is keeping dry and warm air that we just do not need in the southern plains. High temperatures like DFW, for example, could get close to 110 on Wednesday. So very hot week coming there. And then our next trough is back over in the western United United States that could actually pose a low end threat for some severe weather over the next few days. Now, as we go through Tuesday into Wednesday, that trough starts to move a bit further off to the north and east. It's going to be pretty slow moving. Dome continues back down in the southern United States, so near the Gulf Coast, and then back over on the west coast. That is where again a trough sits there. Now, you'll notice as we go into Thursday into Friday, that low pressure system starts to shoot off to the north and east, so it starts to race a little bit more. This could actually pose a risk for severe weather during the later half of the week because we will have some strong upper level winds. Not the strongest we've ever seen, but they'll be strong enough to the point where we could see some severe weather setups start to kind of increase again by Thursday or Friday. Once we go into the weekend, things become very uncertain, but for right now, it does seem like it'll be a fairly quiet weekend. Overall, the only exception would be that threat for maybe a low-end severe weather potential as we go into the late week, maybe as well into Saturday. But again, things could change in between now and then. Now, before I show you the severe weather threat and the timing for today, I do want to quickly discuss the intensity of this surface low. And we mentioned it yesterday and as well as the day before in our video forecasts and live streams about how strong this surface low pressure system is. It got down to as low as around 999 millibars. So it was a fairly strong low pressure system and now it's going to begin in a weakening trend. So it's going to start weakening over the next 24 to 48 hours. You'll notice that low pressure system becomes a bit more spinned out in the 850 millibar category. So it's going to start to get weaker over the next couple days and that overall will kind of weaken the overall severe weather setup as well for both today and tomorrow. Now it's definitely not a low risk of severe weather today. It's still in the medium to even medium high category, but it's still not going to be nearly as high as what we saw yesterday with all modes of severe weather, including the strong tornado risk and as well as some really significant hail that we also saw and even some scattered to numerous damaging winds. Now, once we go into Wednesday and Thursday, again, that moves off to the north and east and then we are done with that system for a little while. Now, here's the severe weather threat for today. We have a really big day coming up. It's not going to be, you know, a low end threat. We still have a good chance for at least some scattered to numerous severe storms today across areas over in the mid-Atlantic region. That's our biggest concern today. This is spans from literally Vermont and New York all the way back down through Florida. It, so this is a very large area that we're talking about today, which doesn't necessarily mean the risk of severe weather is higher, but it does mean that severe weather will be possible across a much larger area, which this is something that we saw similar yesterday, where we had a huge area that spanned from anywhere from Michigan all the way back down through the Gulf Coast, and we saw severe weather across that entire region. Even though it was scattered, we obviously did see severe storms in a pretty huge magnitude. So you definitely want to make sure if you're anywhere in the mid-Atlantic region today or anywhere down the southeast or northeast United States, they do have multiple ways to receive alerts and as well as a tornado action plan in place. Now, here's the main concerns for today. Damaging winds is my main concern, and that goes for really any storms that develop today. It's gonna, Even though it's going to be a scattered risk in terms of the severe weather coverage, only some storms will be severe, and the ones that are severe will definitely have a fairly solid chance at having damaging winds with the setup that we have. Now, damaging winds between 60 to 70 miles per hour is the main concern, so you do want to make sure you're taking the proper precautions today. Again, not every storm will produce 
lose that threat, but some of them will, so make sure that you're prepared today. That risk extends anywhere from Vermont and New York all the way back down through parts of northern Florida, so again, make sure you're prepared for that. The large hail threat is a bit more of a conditional one. It's going to depend on if any storms do develop down in North Carolina, and the ones that do, will they actually be able to become severe, no cap, no sinking, or all that sort of stuff. So basically, if storms do develop back down in North Carolina, that's where the biggest concern is today for some large to very large hail potential. We could see a couple storms produce up to baseball-sized hail. That is definitely something that we do not see very often on the East Coast or really anywhere, in fact, in the mid-Atlantic region. So you want to make sure you're prepared for that threat, especially if you're over in North Carolina. That is where the greatest hail potential is. And again, it's a bit of a lower threat. It's a slight risk, essentially, in terms of the slight enhanced moderate risks of severe weather. So again, just make sure you're prepared for a hail threat, especially there. But elsewhere, we could see, still see some sporadic hail, isolated amounts between about quarter size to maybe a ping pong ball sized hail. Tornado risk today, it's not very concerning. It's a low chance, but I would still make sure you have a tornado action plan in place just in case. Low level jet is much weaker today in comparison to yesterday. We do not have a really centered and organized area where we're going to see an increased tornado risk. So very good news there. But there is a chance for perhaps a couple of brief tornadoes anywhere from South Carolina all the way back through Pennsylvania and as well as New Jersey. And again, just make sure that you are prepared for all modes of severe weather. But I still think damaging winds is going to be the main concern. Now, here's the timing across areas in the northeast. Timing really is going to start to ramp up over the next couple hours. We're going to see severe storms pretty quickly. Storms will fire off anywhere between now and about 3 or 4 o'clock across areas in the northeast. Most of these are going to be damaging winds. You'll notice closer to about 5, 6 o'clock, there will actually be a chance for maybe an organized line of storms. If that does end up happening, mainly damaging winds. I don't really foresee a whole lot of a tornado risk there. Once we go into the late evening hours, that is when storms start to weaken off. We could see some storm activity enter areas like New England as we go closer to the midnight to even overnight hours. So be prepared for that, but severe weather is not expected there. And maybe some rumbles of thunder to wake you up would be about it there in New England. For over in areas like Virginia as well as North Carolina, timing at the top left of your screen, storms will likely fire off down this direction closer to around 5, 6, 7 o'clock, perhaps maybe a couple hours earlier. But storms are going to start firing up with mainly a large hail threat initially, and then this will translate into a damaging wind threat as we go to, through the mid to late evening hours and eventually going into the overnight hours. Those storms race off to the east. We could see even a very early overnight threat for those across the east coast, so potentially in far eastern North Carolina and maybe near Virginia Beach. You might not even see storms until closer to midnight, if not maybe a little bit after that. So definitely make sure that you are still staying alert then and have multiple ways to receive alerts in case you go to bed early. And then lastly, for those in the southeast, I'm not expecting a whole lot down this direction, but there will be some isolated storms that fire up between really about 5 to 10 o'clock tonight. Again, these will be isolated. The main concern is some sporadic hail and maybe some gusty winds and possibly up to 60 mile per hour damaging winds, but it's a very low threat overall. Storm activity will actually continue throughout the early overnight hours, so potentially near Charleston and Myrtle Beach. But again, low threat overall of severe weather. Just make sure, again, you're staying weather aware, but it is, again, a low threat tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.